Hello everyone, my name is Sugar Song as always, and just like last time, we're doing another top 10. Now keep in mind, number 10's worse, and number 1 is the best. So, while we're going through this, keep in mind, also, that season 3 is the shortest season. So all the episodes that we're going over today, pretty much, there is only 10 regular episodes when you take out the beginning episode and the ending episode keep that in mind while we're going through this and enjoy season three of my little pony friendship is magic top 10 number 10 too many pinky pies Time is running out for Pinkie Pie, and she feels that she is not being able to be everywhere at once. So she decides to go to the mirror pool and make more of herself. There was funny moments with the Pinkie Pies, like, for example, these pictures where she was copying Twilight, where she was coming out of Fancy Pants' hat and being someone's beard in the crowd. Those were funny. And then there were the scary ones, like these. This is when Twilight was testing the Pinkie Pies, because they all had to stay still and watch paint dry. The world's greatest pastime. Anyways, only one Pinkie Pie survived. The real Pinkie Pie is standing up at number 10. Sorry about that, Pinkie Pie. Too many Pinkie Pies for my liking. 8 and 9. Now... There's a lot of this in this season because there's a lot that uh, coincide with each other and one I couldn't decide on. I'm very sorry about this, but I feel that they really are together. So, what can you do? Just for the sidekicks and Games Ponies Play. These are the two episodes that are 8 and 9. We'll start with the first one, Just for the Sidekicks. Now, Spike is trying to make a jewel cake, but of course he eats all the jewels while he's making the cake. So what does he do? He goes and watches all the pony's pets. Yes, this is what he decides to do. But of course, it doesn't go very well. So who does he enlist to help him? The Cutie Mark Crusaders, of course! Other shenanigans happen and he loses all of his gems at the very end. And almost, Angel Bunny was... Well, let's just say not an angel in the train car because the ponies were in there and he was going to kick their seat. Games Ponies Play. Well, this one is the first episode arc of the games that is going to be held in the Crystal Empire, hopefully. Basically, the main six is supposed to greet somebody to the Crystal Empire, show them around around and basically make them feel like that this would be the perfect place to have the games. Cadence is trying to get her hair done a certain way that greets ponies into Crystal Empire. But of course they do all this for naught because they give it to the wrong pony. This is why uh, I lump these two together because they are actually supposed to be kind of like a story arc together. Basically Spike ends up in the train after the fact that they went from the Crystal Empire and you get to see both of those together. So that's why they're 8 and 9. They're not, um, how it's set up is 8 and 9, but I couldn't decide, so I'll let you decide in the comments. Number 7. Wonderbolts Academy. Ugh, this episode. Sure, Rainbow Dash gets her dream come true to finally try out for the Wonderbolts. And Pinkie Pie was so funny in this episode, opening her mailbox again and again. I found that hilarious and how she was strangling Rainbow Dash. And sure, I had my conspiracy theory on episode 22, same pony, blah, blah, blah. But what really, really made this episode, honestly, was Rainbow Dash sticking up for her friends against Spitfire and Lightning Dust. Because, you know, Spitfire was still in the wrong as much as Lightning Dust, even though Lightning Dust is the one that created the tornado with Rainbow Dash. And, sorry Spike, a ship has sailed with Rarity. She found herself a real stallion. This is why Wonderbolts Academy gets number 7. And Rainbow Dash, you get a round of applause for having the badge of loyalty. You deserve this, Rainbow Dash. 5 and 6. 
These are the episodes I was talking about earlier where they don't really coincide together, but I couldn't decide between them. Let's start with the first one, The Magical Duel. Trixie is back, and I love this episode. Basically, Trixie gets the Alicorn Amulet, and Twilight gets kicked out of town, but she also gets Jedi training from Zakura. Meanwhile, Trixie is being paranoid. Also, she doesn't trust wheels. How did you get around before that? Is the question. And they send Fluttershy. <laughs> Fluttershy to go get Twilight. Why Fluttershy of all the ponies? Twilight comes back with her own amulet to trick Trixie to take off her amulet. Let's just say she tricked the trickster. Using the power of friendship and makeup, Twilight tricks Trixie to take off the Alicorn Amulet. This is why, Twilight, you've earned the badge of Friendship is Magic. A round of applause, please. You deserve this, Twilight. Keep calm and flutter on. Basically, this episode, Fluttershy is trying to reform Discord. And there was cute scenes with the dancing candles that kind of reminded me of uh, Beauty and the Beast. Of course, uh, Discord does his own little trickery and gets all the other ponies to leave. And he also basically possesses the beavers to fill the whole area with water, basically breaking their dam and drowning everything and then of course discord wants to go ice skating with fluttershy but she's not having any of that so of course she ends up reforming him with the power of friendship of course her kindness did come into factor but i didn't give her a badge for that this is why these two episodes are five out of six. Oh yeah number four spike at your service Basically, the reason why this one's getting so high up is because Spike is so himself in this episode, and I do like the fact that, uh, of Pinkie Pie's plan to get <laughs> Applejack to have Spike save her, and the mustache was just perfect. But of course, all plans don't go according to plan, and she actually does get stuck, and the Tinder Wolf does come after her, and of course, he gets befuddled by a small pebble but we got to see tom again rolling down the hill so that's good for us this is why spike at your service gets number four <laughs> two and three basically this is the applejack episodes one bad apple is the first one i'm going to start with and this is when we first meet babs Basically, there's a really good song that goes along with this. A link in the description will be provided, just like before. And all the scenes in this was just really great. I loved the music. I loved how Babs was so mean to her with Silver Spoon and Diamond Tierra, even though I hate those two with a fiery passion. But we got a new Cutie Mark Crusader out of the deal and a new cousin for us to enjoy of Applejack's family. We don't really know anything about Applejack's family until the Applejack's reunion. Basically, this whole episode is Applejack scrambling around to make the reunion special because all of the family members are coming to this reunion. Basically, she tries and fails on a lot of stuff and ends up breaking their barn. So they do another great song, which is Raise This Barn, which there will be in the link in the description with another one that is fun to listen to. Basically, this is why these ones are two out of three, because they coincide together to make one awesome episode. There is no honor mentions this time around, but now we're going to start with number one! Da -da 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 -da! Sleepless in Ponyville! The reason why this one is number one is because I do like Scootaloo and Rainbow Dash, and I like the awesome stories that are being told. We get to hear them again, and of course, Scootaloo cannot sleep. It's just great. And there's tons of like, little memes like this picture. 
I love this picture that I found on the internet. It is awesome. And of course, we get to see the best princess ever. Luna! Luna, you get the best princess award! A round of applause, please! You deserve this, Luna. You are the best princess. Anyways, she goes into Scootaloo's dreams. That's enough now, people. Yes, thank you. Scootaloo's dreams and helps her out. We get to learn about Luna so much in this episode, and I love the fact that there's a sisterly, honorary bond between Rainbow Dash and Scootaloo. This is why Sleepless in Ponyville gets the number one cup in this season. A round of applause, please. You deserve this, Sleepless in Ponyville. You were the best episode in Season 3! Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you agreed with my top 10. If not, please leave what you think is the number one episode in Season 3 down in the description below. Also, all the songs I've mentioned will be in the description below as well. And I'll see you all next time.